Let's take a look here as we look at our 60 minute chart of the S&P 500, that's the ES. And you could see in here that, well, just uh, very similarly to what we showed you last week, every single day in the stock market, buyers seem to come in and uh, got, no matter what the news is, buyers uh, just, uh, just love to be in the markets and uh, always seemingly finding a group to move into and move the markets up. The horrible news that came out of the mass shooting in Las Vegas um, seemingly not affecting the market at all. Some news came out about uh, turmoil in Spain on the Catalonia vote. Uh, they want to uh, secede, essentially be their own country, and uh, that didn't affect the markets too much. Uh, markets had a little dip as oil fell about 3% on a uh, big uh, increase uh, in output, uh, and that seemed to be a um, discussion throughout the entire week, but as you could see, on Monday buyers came in same thing no news really on Tuesday as you got uh, buying coming in almost throughout the day some news came out late in the day that uh, POTUS said that they were he was going to wipe out the debt in Puerto Rico uh, and you got a blip overnight uh, in there and also some question about uh, Tillerson uh, speaking poorly of POTUS uh, actually did he call him a moron well he wouldn't even admit to that. Uh, news also coming out uh, late in the day, or early in the morning here on Wednesday, that Fed Fisher warned on inflation. You got a little bit of downside in there. ISM news on Wednesday came out very strong, and you saw the market uh, blip uh, to the downside uh, only for a second, and then all of a sudden bids came in again. Of course, the bond market doesn't really like that strength, and uh, Tillerson denied that he was talking in the Summer about quitting. Uh, all of that seemed to give the market some relief and buyers came in again. Uh, ECB minutes came out here on Thursday morning. Uh, they were very cautious, concerned and about the strong euro and really afraid if they start, you know, cutting back, uh, raising interest rates, tapering, that the euro is going to take off again. So, you know, bad news is good news and you can see what happened here on Thursday. Friday, the payroll numbers came out. They were minus 30 33,000 versus the estimate uh, expected of a plus 90k. Those were low numbers that were expected because of the hurricanes. Uh, however, they were not expected to be that bad and also 38,000 cut from the previous two months. So that makes those months uh, significantly weaker. The unemployment rate now at a uh, six year plus low 4.2% uh, and wage, uh, wage growth was five tenths. And you know, well, that's the kind of thing the Fed is looking for to uh, uh, confirm that they should be tighter. Bonds got a hit again. Oil down again, 3% on Friday on supply. And there is certainly some uh, worry about uh, supply uh, being uh, a negative force for the oil market uh, as we continue to see uh, oil fail from that area above $51 and then pull back. Uh, for uh, the week, the stock market, uh, basically the major indexes, the S&P, the RUT, the NASDAQ up just over 1%, the Dow Jones a little bit better, closer to 1.5%. Bond market moves down about a half a point in the 10 years gain about three basis points on the week so the bonds uh, continue to be weak dollar continues to be stronger on those higher uh, interest rates and uh, the dollar picked up about three quarters of a point on the week we're looking for just a little bit more to this uh, dollar rally that's going on silver and gold were weak for most of the week they had a reversal day on Friday uh, silver actually closed up for the week about 13 cents after being lower all week long and uh, the gold, gold cut its losses to be only down about six dollars uh, for the week at this point. Oil again those oversupply fears uh, coming in and also fear that uh, another hurricane uh, Hurricane Nate was going to um, uh, lower demand so uh, oil had a bad week down over two dollars on the week which is pretty bad. Um, we have got uh, a lot that we offer here 
here at Ask Slim. And a lot of you are members and you're familiar with what we do. I, I just want to give everybody out there an opportunity to experience what we do and to benefit from our work. You, you just won't believe the amount of work that we do, that we put uh, in to all of our analysis and what we share with you. I want you to take a look at this of a special level four, that's our uh, highest level one month trial membership. What would you get with this amazing trial membership? And you can see that special price in there is uh, $64.50, that's half price for a month. Well, you're gonna get all of Slim Charts uh, on your TOS platform. If you're not a TOS user, write me at slim at askslim.com. Uh, Think or Swim, TD Ameritrade is now our preferred broker. Uh, and uh, I can uh, send you uh, a link and tell you uh, about uh, how to open a TOS account through our platform. Um, the uh, weekly uh, cycle and daily cycle work that you see us do on 24 futures and indexes, well, that's included. Uh, you can, uh, you'll be getting um, uh, grid, stock grids with uh, all of these uh, futures and stocks. Uh, uh, we do also the same thing on the 56 best traded, widely held, widely held optional, optionable stocks. So you get all of our charts that you see and uh, all of uh, our forecasts and uh, all of the studies that are on there right on your platform. Uh, we refresh these weekly so uh, and even more often when necessary. And uh, outside of those 80 symbols, you have special requests for cycle analysis on other symbols. Well, you could send those to me also. Our level three rankings and trade setups also on those 80 best symbols. Uh, you get our table with our momentum uh, and uh, cycle rankings on three different time frames. You also get our amazing option bias indicator. It gives the momentum for short-term traders and option traders and pending reversals. We're running about 67%, better than two to one in good strong reversals on those. And you can email to me with questions on strategies, analysis, trader issues. So it's kind of you and I working one-on-one -on -one, uh, through email, uh, and you can send me e to emails a few times a week. So uh, you get that, our level three, and level two, our entire uh, library. That's all of our videos, more than 250 videos in seven categories. Our tools for text, which is just amazing. Uh, Future Speak, which we do every Wednesday. Trader Psychology, really about talking about trader issues. Big picture analysis, where we look at the longer term on all the markets. IRAMO, your modus operandi as you approach your IRA uh, accounts. And stock sectors, where we look at very uh, actionable, tradable things in individual stock groups. And style, strategy, and plan, where we talk about, well, about everything about being a trader and being involved in the markets. Man, that is a lot of stuff. And uh, I, you know, six $64.50. You can have that all. Try it for a month. You'll get all of the stuff that I just mentioned. You can do some binge watching on all of our videos. You'll be able to get all of our charts uh, and be in contact with me all the time. It's just amazing what you can get for uh, that price. Give it a try. Uh, see if you love everything that we do. I don't think you could get a better learning experience for any anything close uh, to that amount of money. So uh, please do write me. Slim at S slim.com ask me for that special link and uh, I will send you uh, that uh, link on uh, how to uh, sign up for one month trial uh, for just 6450 for all of that next thing we're going to look at is the stock market so I've been driving myself nuts reworking and reworking these patterns and trying to really understand what's going on. That's really what my business looks like. I mean, it's it's doing analysis, seeing what works, what's not working, why it's not working, how I can make some sense out of it. So I spent, of course, a lot of time. And, you know, I send uh, the charts out to my subscribers and then I have to send out a new chart because I've updated this stuff and trying to make the most sense out of it. And uh, I'm likely to do that again in the next couple days because what I'm really focusing in now is a pattern that is lining up pretty strongly in the NASDAQ, which is overlaying on the S&P 500 really well. So maybe we can get some clarity in here when we look at that. Here's the S&P 500. Uh, we had expected 
last week that the market would stop and roll over from this level right over here and come down and test 24.94 down at this level over here. Well, clearly that was just completely wrong. We were looking at this right in here. You can see that, which gave no downward motion whatsoever right in here. In the case of, of the NASDAQ, it maybe gave a little bit more, but really no clarity at all. So where we are now is that we expect that we're going to get a minor blip in here, potentially getting down to um, 25, 28. I mean, this is kind of the worst case that we see right over here. Then turning up again for one more time and then down. So it's kind of this right in here is what we're looking at. Uh, and that would call for um, a topping coming in here and that the upside is basically spent. Now, when I look at this, uh, you know, it's a little overbought and already rolling over and hasn't given much ground. So it shows you the power that we're looking at there uh, in the S&P 500. Here's the NASDAQ right here. And uh, again, you can see it's gotten overbought, but uh, powerful again as it restored its upward uh, movement. And the Russell, which got so strong, is stalling a little bit and getting oversold already when it's green. So that doesn't leave much in the way of downside. Like I say, uh, in the uh, S&P 500, maybe it gets us down to that uh, 25, 28 area. Uh, early in the week and then uh, bounces again. We just don't see anything in here right now uh, that gives us any sense that it that it's going to do anything but go into some rotational period in here uh, before it has a break. How does that rotational period look to me based on what I'm looking at in here? It's kind of this, right? I said this, this, and this. So that's this cycle coming down right here. That bottoms around the 20th and then this rally takes you out to about the 25th or 26th. So this is this choppy period and why we did this video this week on rotation, because that's actually what we see coming in here as, uh, believe it or not, we still believe the market puts in a top pretty soon and there's a sizable correction in the fourth quarter, uh, but how it shapes up and tops, we're not, you know, it's just for us right now, guessing and guessing and reworking stuff until we really make some sense out of these alignments and the fuel for this big rally that we're in uh, starts to die. So uh, when you look at the interday patterns in here, this, these are interday momentum patterns. You can see the S&P 500, the Russell, the NASDAQ, and the Dow all just continuously giving strong signals right in here and if anything the Russell is giving up a little bit of that but that's not significant so the Russell has become the weakest one uh, in there the Nasdaq again turns up uh, and becomes the strongest one and that's actually what we had projected a couple weeks ago where we thought that the Russell was running out of gas and it basically really has stalled and uh, the Nasdaq getting into uh, a much uh, stronger condition. I hope you enjoyed that video. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also go to AskSlim.com and become a level one member. No cost to you and we have some special videos for you to see. I know you'll enjoy them. I've been crazy.